Stuart Rhodes is guilty of uh, oh, wow. seditious conspiracy is the uh, verdict that we just came in with the, with the first one. So uh, it's they're going through them now. So we should that's a good sign, obviously, for the government. But I think that the other charges are the ones where there is a little bit more possibility. I think the Rhodes one, uh, you know, I can say this now confidently because it's come in. I think the Rhodes one was the one that everyone was sort of agreed that was going to be one that the government was going to succeed on. But I do think uh, there was some mystery to uh, or potential potential for um, reasonable doubt on some of these other charges in terms of seditious conspiracy. So, you know, we have to see whether or not the DOJ gets a clean sweep here. But first seditious conspiracy uh, charge, uh, a guilty verdict for Stuart Rhodes is certainly a huge win for the government here. I mean, Ryan Riley, we know so much about Stuart Rhodes' intent and state of mind, both from the evidence that was produced for this trial, and I, I believe some of his former close associates and family members, and even his ex-wife, talked about Stuart Rhodes going to Washington, waiting for Trump to invoke the Insurrection Act. I mean, this was um, truly a, a ringleader of the, the goings-ons, if you will, the criminal conduct on January 6th. Just talk about the significance of a guilty verdict from a jury on Stuart Rhodes of seditious conspiracy. It's significant because, you know, the government had so much evidence before and after January 6th of his intent here. And he kept trying to get in touch with Donald Trump uh, before uh, he was trying to get in touch with Donald Trump, maybe potentially through a member of uh, the Secret Service. Then on January 6th itself, there was another person uh, who he tried to get in touch with, a sort of Trump confidant whose identity we still really uh, don't know. And then afterwards, he actually communicated a message to someone who he thought was going to uh, send that message along to Donald Trump and essentially tell them, uh, that, you know, they were ready and willing to step up to help him use, to help Donald Trump use force uh, to stay in power. So um, they really did have a, just a ton of evidence, including some recordings that were made secretly uh, by uh, by an individual who later cooperated with the FBI um, in, after, you know, the January 6th attack. I believe this was around January 10th when uh, this individual secretly recorded Rhodes talking about how he wished they had brought guns on January 6th and how if he could do it all over again, Again, he would have strung up Nancy Pelosi from a lamppost. So I think that rhetoric, uh, along with all of this evidence of planning, was what really got uh, the jury to uh, a guilty verdict on uh, the Rhodes seditious conspiracy charge here. Ryan, you're staying with us. We need to develop a sign. Wave to us when you have more um, information from this jury. We are covering the breaking news. The jury has found Stuart Rhodes, Oath Keepers founder and leader, guilty of seditious conspiracy. It is the most serious charge that has been uh, leveled at any of the insurrectionists, uh, people who were in and around the Capitol on January 6th, and the government has prevailed.